we uh we started a new tradition here on the show and uh, i almost forgot i almost glazed right over it i am going to be reading a random chapter out of the bible every morning so uh here we go let's uh let's let's stop the shuffle you guys ready three two one second kings 22 here we go shosiah was eight years old when he began to rule, and he was king for 31 years in Jerusalem. His mother was Jedidiah, daughter of Adiah, from Bozkath. Josiah did what the Lord considered right. He lived in the ways of his ancestor David and never stopped. In Josiah's 18 year, 18th year, as king of Judah, he sent the scribe Shephan, son of Azaliah, Azel and grandson of Meshulam to the Lord's temple with these instructions. Go to the chief priest Hilkiah. Have him count the money that has been brought into the Lord's temple, the money that the doorkeepers have collected from the people. Give some of it to the foremen who are in charge of the Lord's temple. They should give it to the workmen who are making repairs on the Lord's temple. These workers include the carpenters, builders, and masons. Also use the rest of the money to buy lumber and quarried stones to repair the temple. Since the workmen are honest, don't require them to account for the money you give them. The chief priest Hilkiah told the scribe Shephan, I have found the book of Moses' teaching in the Lord's temple. Hilkiah gave the book to Shephan, who, wrote, who then read it. The scribe Shephan went to the king and reported, We have taken the money donated in the temple to have given it to the workmen who are in charge of the Lord's temple. Then the scribe Shephan told the king, The priest Hilkiah has given me a book. And Shephan read it to the king. Shephan? Sh Sh Shephan? I'm saying that wrong, I know. You can't hear me? Have I been reading this whole time and you can't hear me? When the king heard what the book of the teaching said, he tore his clothes in distress. Then the king gave an order to the priest Hilkiah to the to Ahikam, son of Shephan. Yeah, you can hear me. Then the king gave the order to the priest Hilkiah to Ahikam, uh, Akbor, the scribe Shephan, and the royal official Isaiah. He said, on behalf of the people, all of Judah and me, ask the Lord about what the words in the book that has been found. The Lord's fierce anger is directed towards us because our ancestors did not obey the things in the book or do everything written in it. Tell me this isn't true today. So the priest Hilkiah, Ahikam, ah 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 Akbar, Shephan, and Isaiah went to talk to the prophet Hulda. She was the wife of Shalom, son of Tikva, and grandson of Har Haras. Har Harhas. Shalom was in charge of the royal wardrobe. Hulda was living in the second part of Jerusalem. She told them, This is what the Lord of God, the Lord God of Israel says. Tell the man who sent you to me, this is what the Lord says. I'm going to bring disaster on this place and on the people living here according to everything written in the book of the of that the king of Judah has read. Which was the book of Moses, right? I will do this because they have abandoned me and sacrificed to other gods in order to make me furious. Therefore, my burning anger directed at this place will never be extinguished. Hulda added, But tell Judas king who sent you to ask to me to ask the Lord a question. This is what the Lord God of Israel says about the words you heard. You had a change of heart and humbled yourself in, the, in front of the Lord when you heard my words against this place and those who live here. I had said that those who live here will be destroyed and cursed. You also tore your clothes in distress and cried in front of me. So I will listen to you, declares the Lord. That is why I'm going to bring you to your ancestors. I'm going to bring you to your grave in peace, and your eyes will not see any of the disaster I'm going to bring on this place. So they reported this to the king. I tell you what, if this isn't true today, 
and 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 God never changes. I'm not wearing the sweatshirt, but but you guys have seen it before. God doesn't change. He he listened. He listened because he had a change of heart, and he and he and he brings him to his grave in peace. But the disaster, the destruction, still happens. Why? Because. Uh, of, of, of what they did, of what they did. They turned sacrifice to other gods in order to make him furious. And this isn't, if this doesn't ring true to this day. I mean, just think about Christmas. Are you bringing, are you bringing, hold on. Are you bringing the money are you bringing the money for the temple, for the carpenters and the builders and the masons of God's temple? Or are you just buying useless gifts for consumerism? What sacrifices, what sacrifices to other gods are you doing? But yeah, thank you guys for joining me. This is the, uh, the random chapter of the day. The random chapter of the day, 2 Kings 22. There you go. Hey, and uh, if two is your number, this is our second race. What's great about the Bible is no matter where you flip it to, it's going to say something about doing the thing that is righteous and, and what happens if you don't. It's, it's like it's weird and and everybody's like we're saved by we're saved by grace and 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 we got all this and the old law and the old testament is done away with and it's like have you read it because every single time that they do away with the old testament god comes and destroys them sound familiar america <laughs>